Hello everybody! Welcome to Confessions of a Bearded Lady. We are starting this episode slightly different than most. Today we are actually at the store. Today I'm going to be hitting up three stores. The local drugstore, my local grocery store, and to Walmart. At all three locations, I'm going to be looking for not only a facial hair removal creams and things, but bleaches and just kind of anything that I may be able to use, such as um, not actual razors, but the little detailers. I don't know what they're called. We will take a look. So welcome to my local drugstore. Let's go see what we can find. <laughs> about this compared to the Walmart that I'm about to show you is the fact that I can stand up to look at what they have and it's kind of like a whole shelf from here all the way down they do have razors and stuff which are over there but this is the non razored section so two things right off the bat that I see that I would like to try is bleach I have bleached my facial hair before. I think I've showed you the package of the bleach I have, but I figure I need to get some new bleach and give it a try. My hair is particularly lo long right now um, and dark, so I'm thinking if I don't want to get rid of the facial hair, maybe this will make it less noticeable. I kind of have like four of them. So we got bleach, they have this cream so little but it's specifically for your face so hopefully it doesn't burn me we're definitely picking up one of these I've always had one and mine recently broke but it was my go-to so we're picking up this what is a face buffer Quif quickly buffs hair away gently exfoliates regrows appears slower and less noticeable what in the world should we buff my face? I don't know if I'm going to do that one yet. But they have face buffing. This is also one that I've never tried, but it's something newer that I've seen, which is very similar to that pen one, but this one kind of just has a sleeker shape. Finishing touch, a lawless hair remover. I do want to find this, try this NADS at one point. NADS was infomercials when I was a kid. And now you can get it at the store. I guess that's a, a, t a tale of a true winner here. I can start on evening infomercials and then be sold at your local drugstore. And it's not in the made for TV section either. Then they have like the creams that we've tried on my channel before. Part of the reason I'm not going to my go-to creams or waxing is one, I'm terrified of being burned again. And two, my last waxing experience was expensive and didn't accomplish anything that I need to try something new. Obviously, I do want to go back to waxing. It's just very pricey and I need to wait until I have more money. So maybe next month. Those face buffers are very intriguing to me. So the three things here that I've kind of figured out that I would like, and I'm going to see about prices elsewhere, the bleach, the buffer, and the little razor. I also want to get some tweezers because I don't have any, but they don't have them in this section. So we are going to go to the next place. Thank you, drugstore, for having a very large, very nice, good priced hair removal section. Yeah. All right, guys, let's go to the next store. Why, hello. Welcome to the grocery store. So I am currently at my local grocery store. There are two grocery stores that we typically shop at. They're the same brand. One is like local and small, and the other one is local and larger, if that makes sense. So I'm at the larger of the two, anticipating that this would have more variety of what I was looking for. No. <laughs> I'm currently in the makeup section because I didn't really find any hair removal stuff in the hair removal section. Thinking maybe they misplaced it. Thinking that 
facial hair removal is actually cosmetic, which it is. But either way, I didn't find it here and I didn't find it there. So I am going to show you the hair removal section that they do have, um, because as most of you know, I don't usually use face products on my face. I use whatever I can find uh, cheapest. So right, here is the razor section of, of this hair store. They only have regular razors. They don't have the little mini like finishing touch razor that I was looking for. And then in, oh, that's a lie. So let's take a break. They do have this hair removal section. It is here. I find it quite funny that men, well, as I said, I find it quite funny. I guess men do usually get rid of their facial hair far more often than women do because women just don't typically have facial hair. So anyway, this has a whole men's section. And then this is the little itty bitty razor I was just talking about shoved here in the corner, which doesn't actually belong there because if it was only $4.29, I would have picked up myself one. So I don't actually know where this lives but they do sell it. So one very big difference between shopping at your grocery store and shopping at your local drugstore is on a Saturday, your grocery store is all busy. <laughs> We're heading into a huge storm here in Vermont, so everyone and the brother are trying to stock up today. Anyway, so back to hair removal. Men's, 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 men's. And then down here, these last little two shelves those are the women's hair removal products so let's get down here they have a whole selection of shaving creams some people do shave their face i have no idea if they use shaving cream some people probably do use shaving creams so there are those now down here they have shave gel shave gel shave gel shave gel shave cream they do have some wax strips which we have utilized on this channel um so i'm not picking up those Basically, they have no facial hair removal kits. It's all for your legs, it's all for your body, besides these two little buggers, which I cannot figure out where they live. So, let me know if you happen to buy your facial um, removal, your hair removal products at your grocery store, do they have a better selection than this? Because I am not looking forward to this. So, what I'm going to do now is I am gonna take you all to the lovely store of Walmart and let's see if we can find everything we need in one stop at a better price than my a local drugstore. Otherwise, we're going back to the drugstore. All right, guys, I will see you later. All right, everyone, we have made it to Walmart. Walmart has an entire half of an aisle dedicated to hair removal products. The beginning of this aisle, all the stuff that I just walked by is all men's products. Although women look in the men's product to see if you can find a comparable product because often what happens is you'll find women's shaving cream that's like $3 more than the men's shaving cream. So just be sure to take a look. As you can see, men's, 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 men's. And then you come up here to this little section that is about half the size of the men's section we just saw. And on the top, we have razors, then we have a shaving cream, then we have more razors, and down here, way at the bottom, is all the creams and various things for facial hair removal. Teeny, tiny, little itty bitty section compared to the rest of the shaving section, and it has to be all the way down at the bottom. Not very great. <laughs> so up here in this top bit, I was actually able to find one of these now this is the exact same product that we just saw at the grocery store this one does have a price tag on it right there it says clearance it is five dollars so we are picking up this today it's a little like fine touch micro shaver thingamajiggy so we will use that i have used those before this one is not one that i've tried before so we'll see how it goes so that's step one. Now what I can say about these razors is the one I picked up is a woman's razor. They often have them in men's, which just means it's not pink, it's black or gray. Often those are cheaper. So if you're in the business of buying one, make sure you check out the men's ones, which may be cheaper in your area. Now let's move on down to the bottom shelf here. I'm gonna show you the whole shelf so you can get a good picture at what we may be purchasing today.
on the floor. All right, so I just kind of showed you a quick run through of what was there. I have to say not everything in this section is for your face. There are definitely uh, leg products and body products here. Not all of them are creams, some of them are waxes, but this is the bulk of like their specialty hair removal products specific for women. Now I've actually gone through and kind of looked at what is available. Very comparable to what was available in my local drugstore. Prices are a little bit cheaper. The one thing that they don't have is the buffers. So if you're interested to see if the buffers work, like this video, let me know in the comments and I will be sure to pick those up next time. So moving on over here to get it in everyone's way. One of the things I am gonna pick up, they do have the hair bleach here. This one is Sally Hansen. Must be the only brand of stuff that they sell around here because this is what was available in the last place. It's a dollar cheaper and a basket toss fail. <laughs> um, so we're getting that. The other thing I was wondering if I should get, now I am still terrified of the creams and things that burnt my face in the fall, but this is like a little wand specific for your face, so I was wondering if it would be more gentle. Thinking I'm going to try it. Let's see how that goes. Woohoo, basket toss win. <laughs> All right, so outside of those three products that I just picked up, I am gonna get tweezers. I despise tweezing my face, but sometimes I just get the itch, and lately I've had the itch, so we need to pick up some tweezers. I forgot what I was picking up. All right, guys, we will go to get some tweezers. I don't even know where the tweezers are. <laughs> I am looking for them, but I don't know where they would be. Maybe in beauty tools. They have a whole section called beauty tools. Yep, there they are. I would say I could spend $1.24 on some of these. Ooh, over here they actually do have some other fun things. They have another one of these personal hair trimmers. It's funny that this one is over here in the beauty tools and the other one was in the raising tools. They actually have a bunch of them. This one's actually cheaper. This one is pretty comparable to the other ones I've tried. If you look at the head on this one, it's little. The other one I picked up is in the basket, so I can show you. Um, is just really wide. Look at how big that is. Let's put them down next to each other and you can take a look. See, look at the difference of those. That's ridiculous. I'm actually gonna get this one, which is a dollar more, just to give it a try. And maybe we'll try this one out when we try the buffers. You never know. So just to give you an idea, this is the uh, beauty tool section, and it has all of these lovely little things in it. They have so many things here, I don't even know what some of them would be for. So I got my tweezers, I got my hair, new and exciting things to try, and I will see you guys at home so I can give them all a try for all of you. If there's one in particular that you're really super excited to look forward to seeing how it works, let me know down in the comments as always. And I'm not sure, this may be a two-parter or I will see you in just a moment to show you them all. I found more, even more, that Walmart has everything. So in the drugstore, they had these like flawless beauty touch-up ones. They kind of remind me of like lipstick tubes. So they do have these. It is in the May as seen on TV section of the store. These are $19.88. So they will be a project for another day. But if you happen to find that one interesting, then you can come here and try out that one. They have more of these finishing touch ones. Also, it's a different one than the one I showed you a minute ago. So check out your as seen on TV section on your Walmart to find even more amazing facial hair products.